You have got to be kidding me. CDC tells you how to prepare for zombie attacks? Whatever. I'm going to bed. Good morning, agents. I have some news. Terrible news. Number of gruesome, unexplained deaths is increasing, especially at night. Want to kill flesh eating food. <laughs> Oh god, that was just a dream. No more zombie movies for me. <laughs> Everybody, how'd you like that little zombie clip? I thought I'd have a little fun with this video. I'm gonna talk about some serious stuff when it comes to prepping. There's all kinds of emergencies. No, I don't really believe in zombies, but you never know. Look what's going on in the world today. You never know what's gonna happen. The phrase, you never know what's gonna happen. Earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes. I mean, all, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Natural disasters are a big thing. What if you were boondocking and you ran out of water and wouldn't start or your vehicle wouldn't start and you couldn't get to water? Things to have to be prepared for emergencies of all kind. And, and that is what we're gonna talk about today. We talked about prepping before. Now we're gonna focus a little bit more on things that can get, uh, you know, I'm still work working on getting prepping stuff. Food, uh, prepped, uh, you know, for food. Uh, I buy a little bit every month. I put in the in the container I have. Right now, I've got close to 60 days worth of food prepped up. Um, also, I can haul 35 gallons of water. Um, I also have a nail sachet that I can filter water with. So we're going to talk a little bit about stuff like that. We're going to talk about extra things you need to have for your vehicle when you're boondocking or traveling of anything. You know, uh, emergency kits for your vehicles, uh, emergency, you could have extra fan belts, stuff like that. So we're going to talk about that in this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy the beginning. I just had a lot of fun doing that. And uh, good morning to you. I'm having a cup of coffee this morning. We are going with Folgers, a black silk pour over Ted day and it's good i made it really strong and i love that strong coffee i take we're gonna get on with this video now so let's do this all right i hope you guys can see this okay i'm keeping it kind of dark in here it's going to be 100 degrees here today and so i'm keeping it kind of dark in here right now it stays cooler longer i am parked in the shade all right so if i was boondocking and i i broke down or had a flat or something and i couldn't get away from where I was boondocking. And, and for me, I always try to be close to water. I love being around water. I carry 35 gallons of water, actually a little more than 35 gallons of water. I have three uh, seven gallon uh, containers that I use, and that's usually my shower water. I it, it can be drinking water. I mean, it's they're good containers and I only put good water in them, but I usually use that for the um, take a shower or cook some cooking water or whatever and then I have a five gallon that's just drinking water and if I'm somewhere where I can get ice I put ice in it a lot because uh, I just like cold water I also have some one gallon containers I keep yeah, I was um, out boondocking and I am by some water but I can't get out of there I have a flat or something I have a, um, a sell your mini water filtration system um, it's in its own little carrying case uh, uh, I want to thank Ava Potterfield and friends for sending this to me. Um, uh, thank you very much. What a wonderful gift. And, um, uh, so yeah, this is really good to have. Uh, I haven't read everything on it yet. I, I've only had it a day or so, but I'm going to try it out, but it, it, it can fill, it, it, it can filter a lot of water. Uh, so I could filter me some drinking water with this or for the animal, you know, for my pets. Um, so I could filter water out of a creek or wherever with this and have extra water. So seriously, think about getting one of these to keep in your van or vehicle or your RV. The mini sell your water system. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Get the little case to keep everything in. I also have three extra pouches that go with it. 
uh, for water. Uh, these are very cool to have. Uh, hikers use them. I mean, they're great for that. Um, very lightweight. Uh, so definitely think about getting one of these to keep in your vehicle for emergencies. Okay, so on to food. Right now, I've got almost 60 days worth of food in a plastic bin with a lid. I've put canned goods in there, I, um, all kinds of stuff like uh, Uncle Ben's rice packets, tuna packs, cans of tuna, peanut butter, chili. I got a box of Oxen's uh, stroganoff. Now, this is food, and I, like I said, I've got almost 60 days worth. If I rationed it, I would definitely get 60 days out of it. Um, and this is food I don't eat every day. This is, you know, because when I wash my salt and stuff, and I'm, I don't eat canned food. But, you know, if it was an emergency situation, of course I would. I'm going to show it to you guys. It's just in a big uh, plastic container with a lid. Once I get it full, I will probably have about... I'd say 90 days of food in there. Okay, I have a Blue Eddy solar charger and here's my panel. It's a Blue Eddy 120 watt, 120 watt solar panel. I have it plugged into my Blue Eddy right now. It's charging at 104, 103 watts. It should, this should be fully charged in about an hour. Okay, I have a AI Power uh, 2000 watt generator at 1600 running watts. My, I, I can run my air conditioner on it. I can charge my house battery with it. I can also charge the Blue Eddy with it. I can run it uh, in the day, like I said, to charge my house battery, which powers my CPAP. All right, so far as power for me, I have the Blue Eddy, the 120 watt panel for the Blue Eddy. I also have another portable panel, 120 watt portable panel, again, and charge my house battery if I need to, um, but I don't have it mounted on the roof. That way I can park in the shade and set it in the sun. I also have a cigarette lighter. I can charge the Blue Eddy, you know, cigarette lighter outlet. I can charge the Blue Eddy when I'm driving even. Now that Blue Eddy runs my fridge I have the Apicool fridge, the C or the J20 or C20. Um, it's a real small fridge, but it uh, the Blue Eddy will run it four days. So if I'm boondocking or traveling, I can charge the Blue Eddy with the van while I'm driving, or if I'm boondocking, I can charge the Blue Eddy with the generator in the daytime. And the generator, I have it where I can just plug it into the van and chart and run anything in my van because I have outlets in the van. That's my power. This is the blue case that you guys see on my doghouse up front here in the van. I fill it with cat food. I have a 30 day supply of cat food. I keep that in the van at all times. Um, that way, if I'm, like I said, if I'm ever out and can't get in, I've got food for the kitties. 40 pounds of cat litter on hand at all times. So that lasts about 30 days, 40 pounds does for the case that's part of the water I count on for the 35 gallons I keep in the van and here is the three uh, seven gallon water jugs I keep full I use these for showers keeping water for the cats washing dishes stuff like that all right guys on to stuff I keep for the van I have battery cables I have extra oil I'll in the van or freeze the water in the van also have jumper cables and basic set, set of mechanics tools. There's some things I can do to my van if I need to because I'm, I, you know, I've worked on my van before. I'm familiar with working on older vehicles. Uh, some things I can't because I can't lift some things, you know, but I put my own starter in, my alternator. Um, I have extra belts that I keep and break a belt on the road and a couple of extra hoses in case I rupture a water hose. So. It's good to have these extra things with you. Even if you don't know how to work on a vehicle, have tools with you. You may, somebody may be around that would know how, and if you have the tools, that's a, that much better. So that is the supplies I keep extra for my van. There's things I wanna build on in it. I also have a trickle battery charger that I charge my house battery with when I plug the generator in needed to I could take I could just unhook it from here and hook it up to the batteries up front and charge them with my generator but what I want to do what I want to add to my tools is a jumper box uh, so I'm thinking about getting a Schumacher jumper box 
um, and it's also like a little power station. So that's what I use for the band. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, I just wanted to do a little prepping video for people. Uh, you know, if you're new to van life, some of the things I showed you today is definitely something you should work on building up in your van. Um, and it takes time, you know, uh, I, I am on a fixed budget, so it takes time to build up these things. So I'm still working on it. So all you new van lifers, all you new RVers, think about some of this stuff. Keep it in mind as you're putting together what you need for your van or your RV or your truck or camper or whatever you live in. Um, but always be prepared for all kinds of emergencies, not just zombies. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.